Hi, and we're so sorry, sorry, sorry to be late on today's micro moment. Our mailbox has been jammed for the past four days, and we were waiting for a delivery, which finally Jim was able to get the keys and get in today. And so we're going to share with you a new gadget. So here it is. Jim, did you ever use one of these? And look who's here with me today. Is it that cool? Um, did you ever use one of these as a kid? Of course. I used them to help my mother end up beating eggs. Now, we found this one wasn't very good. Jim's going to talk about that, and we're going to make mayonnaise the old-fashioned way, and we're going to do it in about six or seven minutes. I have one powdered egg in here. Um, so this is an actual page from the book manuscript that Cindy and I are putting together. And this mayo recipe is going to be in our book. See, it's right here by Pizza Buns and Cast Iron Chocolate Chip Cookie. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Doesn't that sound delicious? That looks great. Like I said, a cast that's iron chocolate cast. cookie. <laughs> so what do you want me to say about this? That it works or it was no, too difficult? No, why we didn't use it. I'm going to put two tablespoons of water in um, our powdered egg right here. This is one egg, powder for one egg. Because the assumption in our book is that we're in a grid down situation, we may not have refrigeration, so most of us are going to be using, if we don't have chickens, we will be using powdered eggs. And so we're working with everything right out of our food storage today. So I'm going to put water in the egg while Jim talks about our gadgets. Well, this particular one has a bar across the bottom. You cannot get it level with the ground. It just kind of goes all over the place. And it's difficult to twirl, even though it looks like it's okay. But we had some difficulties with it. Should almost put oil on it, but we decided not to. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. <clears throat> we just got this one today, and it looks like it should be a lot better as far as being able to hold on to the, yeah. It's better, isn't it? Better, yeah, it is. It's easier to go through. Okay, it gets right down to the bottom of the bowl yeah. where that one was not able to. Yeah. Okay, trade me sides. We're, we're just going to focus in right here so they can they can see both of our bellies, but they can't see our heads. We're, we're really right here. <laughs> okay, so Jim is going to uh, be the operator, and I'm going to be the pourer. Now, the thing with making mayo, if you've never made homemade mayo before, it can be just a little bit tricky. Now, this is just the equivalent of one egg, and to try this out, you can actually just use a, a fresh egg, but we're pretending like the grid is down and we don't have access to electricity, so I can't use my food processor. So Jim is going to beat this egg and get it reconstituted and um, then um, thicken it up just a little bit. So there's islands of powder around there. Yeah, that you that's where I'm going. Islands of powder, I like that. That's very poetic. You want that egg a little bit thick and um, just kind of a, a lemony color. Without electricity, this is really going to be a two-person job. Can you beat it faster? You know, like electricity. <laughs> I can only go so fast with a broken shoulder. <laughs> Jim is the current. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, now what I have right here in this little bowl is one tablespoon of uh, brown mustard, one tablespoon of vinegar, and a dash of salt. So we're going to add these ingredients, and then um, the electric man here is going to beat some more. Oh, that's much better. You need me to hold it? Yeah. Okay, I think I got my speed, my rhythm. Okay, now, here is the oil, and this is one cup of a very light, almost tasteless oil. You don't want to use olive oil or a strong oil. And I'm going to stream just a teeny <coughs> tiny bit in at a time here at first while Jim beats, just to start emulsifying before we really dump that oil in. So that's why we put a little bit at a time so it can start to thicken, emulsify. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're done. So it is um, not quite as stiff as regular mayo is, but it doesn't drip and it will emulsify a little bit more as we put it in the refrigerator as well. Okay, so let's taste. Are you okay with just swiping a little? Sure. Did you lick your finger? We don't do that. Let oh! What can I say? Put your finger out here. That's steramine. It kills all germs. So I'm a germ? <laughs> Let me get a spoon. So I can't stick my finger in? No, you can't. How did you expect me to do it before? <laughs> okay, taste. See what you think. Needs more mustard. Mm. It's perfect so maybe for... Maybe some cottage cheese. Maybe it's perfect for mayo. Okay. Okay? If you say so. Yeah, it works. So thanks for being with us in this experiment for us working together. And we will see you at our next micro moment.